Hi everybody, welcome back to Daisy. Now in this video, I'm gonna show you how to know whether you've had the new 1.19 update files applied to your community uh, server. And then we're gonna look at how to update your server to uh, 1.19. Um, really, we're looking at consoles. We're looking at PlayStation, Xbox, Nitrado servers, but we will look at PC as well. Um, so we're also gonna look at uh, the, the wipe issue for Livonia. So go to your Nitrado web interface and what you want to do to know whether you've had the update or not um, you'll want to go into the web interface now 1.19 will be dropping on or after the 18th of October 2022 and what will happen is if you've got the Nitrado app and you've got notifications turned on you'll get a notification at some point during the day saying your servers are about to be updated and then your servers will be updated but it's really only updating the daisy server.exe program that runs the server not the XML files that have all the loot data in. But if you want to check, what you do is you go down and you can go to your file browser and you want to go into uh, missions. So PS missions for PlayStation, XB missions for Xbox, just missions for PC. And we, this is a Chernera server, so we're going to go into Chernera. So if it was Livonia, it would be Enoch. And then you go into need to go into the DB directory. And then we just want to open up the types of the XML. So if you just click on types, quite a big file so it might take a while to download and then click in the black box somewhere just do control F on your keyboard and just search for GPS okay so there's no GPS because GPS uh, uh, the new one of the new items in 1.19 is the GPS receiver and in fact if we quickly just go to a 1.19 file if I do a search here for GPS there's the GPS receiver so that's what we should get so what we know with our server right now is it doesn't have the 1.19 update so as long as we've had the um, notification that our servers have been updated what we need to do now is we need to update the xml's now this is just for churnerus we're talking about to start off with so if we just want to update the xml's what you'll probably want to do first is make sure you've downloaded any files that uh, are edited in terms of custom edits and stuff like that um, because they're all going to be gone now, with, what you're going to need to do is update those files to the new 1.19s, but we're not going to talk about it here. We're just going to talk about how to uh, get the 1.19 vanilla files. So if you go to um, your general settings here and you just scroll down, on console we have this excellent setting near the bottom. That, uh, not near the bottom. Here we go halfway down called reset mission XML to default so what you do is you tick that and you save and you restart the server and that what that will do it will take all your edited XML's or your 1.8 XML's and update them to the new vanilla ones but do remember that will delete all your edited files and even in things like your CFG gameplay.json will go to vanilla so you're gonna to have to reinsert um, the object spawner array entries for your custom uh, builds there. So you do that, save that, restart the server. Once the server's restarted, untick that, um, save it, and then restart the server. And then you do the same thing again. So you then go into the file browser, give it a few minutes often, because sometimes what happens with Nitrido is when you update a file on onto the server, it doesn't appear for a while sometimes, um, the new version of it, the old version sort of seems to hang around. Go back to the DB directory, go back into the types, wait for it to load, control F, search for GPS, and then if, if uh, GPS receiver appears, you know you've got the new 1.19 files, you can tell everybody on your Discord or however you communicate with your players, we've got the new files, jump in, and they can, they can start looking for it, nice and easy. Now, um, when we're talking about Livonia, we've got to do some different things because the, the, the devs, Bohemia Interactive, have recommended that you do a wipe on Livonia. Well, they kind of recommend you do a wipe on Chernus as well. Um, the wipe on Livonia is probably a good idea. And the reason for this is there's been lots of changes in the physical side of the map. So things like the elevation, there's new areas, you know, there's new quarries, there's new... Um, there's the new bunker in the southwest. There's new towns. Well, not new towns, but there's new, um, like, um, the holiday areas. Uh, physical changes to the map, which could mean that things like your custom structures and, more importantly, 
spaces that players have built are going to clash and clip with these new areas. So the devs are saying that you, if 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 so, if you someone's built a base where our new quarry is, that base is going to be in mid air now, and you don't really want that, do you? So you're going to do a wipe. So if you're going to do a wipe again, remember this is going to delete everybody's progress and it's going to delete everybody's um, uh, equipment as well. We're going to start fresh basically at the river, um, and it's going to delete all your edited files as well. So the first thing you want to do is download all your edited files so you've got them as references to update them to 1.19. Um, and then you want to make sure before you um, reinstall the server, what you want to do is you want to create a configuration profile. So manually create one and call it. So for example, for the last one, I call it 22 June wipe. What that does is that saves the name, the password, the whitelist, all the settings for your particular server, saves them all so that once the server is reinstalled, you just re restore that configuration profile and your server will, will, will be back to normal. So what you're going to do, is on your Livonia server, you're just going to tell everybody, <laughs> download everything you want, copy everything you want, create your uh, configuration profile, and you're going to do a reinstall. Because on console, we d unfortunately, we don't have a way just to delete map data and leave character data. It does everything. And a reinstall will do just that. It's going to completely reinstall the server um, to a vanilla state with the vanilla XMLs. And once it's finished, restore your configuration profile and then your server will be ready to go but remember it, it is vanilla so that you're going to have to re-upload um are you, sorry you're going to have to edit your cfg gameplay.json so any object spawn arrays once you've checked that it's okay to have them they will spawn in and you're going to have to edit those files to include any of, of the mods that you've uh, you've done before okay so that's fairly simple on uh, on console because we do have that rather wonderful option to restore XML to the default. On PC you don't have that. In fact, let's go to a PC server. Uh, here we go. So PC server. So we go to a PC server here. Um, when we go to the general settings you'll see there is no reset mix uh, XML to default. Um, so the question is where can you get these files from if you want to do it that way well you could just do a complete reinstall if you wanted um, and that would then you know put reset the xmls to default but obviously that would blank everybody's um, details off one of the ways you can do it is if on steam you um, install the daisy experimental server what that will then do is uh, on your hard drive in your DayZ folder, wherever that is in normally in uh, something like this, program files, x86, Steam, Steam apps, common, you'll have a DayZ server experimental. And in here, um, in the missions folder, which is the one we're interested in, you'll see we have all of the new files. So you can use your FTP program just to upload all these new files so everything uh, is new. And also remember, when we're on PC, you don't have to do a complete wipe, you know, a complete reinstall um, to wipe stuff. What you can do on PC is if you go into the file browser, uh, Daisy Standalone, then go into the missions folder, and then whichever folder it is for your server, Chernerus, Enoch. You then have the storage folder. And what you can do in the storage folder is that if you want to delete all the stuff that people have um, built on the map, you just delete, just delete, just delete the data folder. So if you just delete that, the, the map will be wiped of builds, but it will keep your players' uh, database. So what players are and what they have on them. If you want to do the reverse, just delete players.db, um, and that will um, delete the players and keep the building stuff. Um, if you want to do, if we just go back one as well, and the other thing you do is instead of doing a reinstall, if you just delete the storage folder, that will then delete players and everything everything that uh, people have built and um, where, where loot is on, on the map as well. So that's a nice easy option. But it won't reinstall uh, vanilla XMLs. So the only way to do that, as I've said, is to do a complete reinstall um, and uh, or uh, install Daisy Experimental Server, 
and then copy all the files you need which is basically all of them back up to your server now if you do do a reinstall to your um, PC server again make sure you create a configuration profile before you do so so that once you've done the reinstall you can just restore it and that will then um, uh, keep your server name server password server settings all that sort of things so there we go well I'm recording this video on about on the 13th of October so we've got about um, we haven't got that long have we got five days to the release of 1.19 um, hopefully when you watch this video you'll find it useful and it will get you ready for the update experience especially if this is your first one um, it's nice and easy the trick is just to take your time and and don't panic as well often uh, Bohemian Interactive Daisy will say oh the servers have updated now but stuff won't happen on Nitrado for for quite a while and as I say just go into your type that XML just do that search for GPS and once you've got that GPS you know that your servers are updated and if you are in that situation where you have updated the XMLs but the GPS doesn't seem to be appearing that could be the fact that sometimes new files take a while to to appear on your nitrado server even though you've uploaded them you might even have ftp'd them up to your server and you might be going oh why hasn't why hasn't it updated yet they are sitting there for some reason with with nitrado and other server companies it can take a while for these things to um to, to update and then all of a sudden you'll see gps and then you'll know you're good to go so if you found this video useful hit like if you want to see more the same press subscribe and i will of course see you again soon